Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay, I know this is going to sound really, really, really strange, but you wouldn't happen to know the Latin names for any trees, would you? You know, because when, when I was a kid, my dad insisted on teaching me the, the Latin names for all British trees. I think for some reason he thought it might help me in later life. Like, you see that big oak tree over there? That's Quercus Robar. I just moved here from London. It's kind of weird coming somewhere and not knowing anybody. But you know, I've come to realise that everyone's pretty much exactly the same. Well, you know, take this park for example. What's it called? Redcots, yeah. So this is park back home. And it's almost exactly identical, you know, it's got a really similar name. And all around the edge there are these big trees, and then just up the hill there's the cricket pitch. It's weird, that. My dad came down to visit last weekend. It got me feeling all nostalgic. It got me thinking about my childhood when, um, when I was about 10 years old. He used to let me make bombs. <laughs> Because he's a vet, he used to get all these, um, all these kind of crazy ingredients through at the surgery, like sodium chlorate and potassium nitrate. And I spend my life making these mad concoctions in the shed. <laughs> this one time, I put the fuse a bit too short on this bomb, and I like knelt down to lit it, to light it, and it just blew up straight in my face, took all the hair off my eyebrows. Yeah, <laughs> I, know, I looked ridiculous. I see that. Thanks. It's really pretty. I've, I've got to be off. Um, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, bye. <laughs> 